Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're talking about a garment steamer by a company called Cotley that sent it to me to put to the test. For many years I used to iron, I had an ironing board, haven't owned an ironing board in a long time. I sold my iron and I've always loved steaming, but what I like about this is it's an all-in-one. You have a place where you can hang your shirt or your pants or tie, whatever it is that you're gonna take the wrinkles out and uh, you and it's small which is really nice. Now I'll give you my unbiased opinion, look forward to sharing with you in this timestamp video so you can go directly and see the port where I was taking wrinkles out of the different shirts so you can see it in action. And what's also cool is if you decide you wanna use this as an iron, you can do this as well. So let's talk about what's included. Obviously you have the steamer, you'll have to assemble the pole to put it together like this. Uh, but once it's put together, it's great. It doesn't take up a lot of space and you could then move it around. It does come in that small box. So again, that's where you'll see you have to put the assembly together. Then you have the user manual there and you've got all the good information in the user manual. And then it also comes with a midden. So if you're worried about it with it being hot and burning yourself, and we'll talk about that, you have a midden there. Now, let's uh, just highlight some features. Obviously, you have a place to hang your shirt or your pants. And what's nice is you can certainly hang your shirt on the top piece here, or there's a hook on both sides where you could then just, if you have a hanger, then you can also do it that way. So you got best of both worlds, and then you can steam or iron however you want. Uh, also, again, for pants, you could do the same thing like there you go with the jeans for example. Now, you can certainly use this piece for hanging pants to, to steam as well. Uh, so that's a nice little bonus there. And uh, the only thing is, um, it doesn't stay. So if you put it higher up, it doesn't stay. It just locks on this plastic piece. So it's gonna be a little bit lower, but nonetheless, you can clip that on there. It should stay and then you can iron it that out. And then of course you could remove that. So we'll go ahead and remove that for the moment. Now, you also have your handle. What's nice about the handle is uh, it's got a locking feature uh, with the bottom piece. So you can lock it and I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. And then you also have a button on top. And what that does is allows you to unlock the head. So while you're using the iron, there's a little handle and then you could flip it, which is very cool. So what's, what's nice is depending upon if you want it wider or if you want it thinner, you could do that. And so it could lock both ways, as you could see this way on this piece here, or you can also lock it that way, So which is very cool. So moving right along, I like the tube as well. Uh, it seems like a nice quality tube. And then down below, you've got your knob. So you've got uh, three, you have an off and you've got three levels of steam. And then it also has a self cleaning feature, which is very cool for descaling, so you could do that. As far as the cord, it's not a very long cord. It's about five and a half feet long, so you know, keep that in mind. And it's a three-prong plug, and I don't think you probably want to use an extension cord. You want to try and plug that right into the wall. I believe that would probably be the safer bet. As far as the tank, you've got a very large tank for putting water in. It does uh, it is recommended as far as the tank to use distilled water uh, versus using just regular tap water. And they say when you are storing it and not using it, it's best to empty it out, which um, I will need to do. But nonetheless, um, you have that there and uh, you've got a nice big reservoir. Let me uh, share with you some other specs. Again, this is a two in one. You can use this as a steamer or an iron. As far as temperature, it does reach three, uh, let's see, for ironing, and by the way, it is a ceramic iron, uh, and it reaches up to 266 degrees Fahrenheit, and for steam, uh, reaches 302 degrees. It has four levels, which we just talked about. It has 110 minutes of continuous use time. Most people aren't gonna use it for 110 minutes, but nonetheless, you can. Uh, you know, so, and some other ways that you may uh, could possibly use it um, for continuous if you're going to steam um, some of your furniture, your curtains, uh, if you decide to use it that way. Uh, it is also um, 
uh, will work on fabrics such as silk, plush, wool, cotton, linen, and nylon. And uh, it does have a, again, it has the trigger where you can hold it down or you can lock it in place, which is nice. So those are the highlights. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you could see how quickly it does turn on and then I'll show you the different levels of steam. All right, now, oh, one thing I wanted to share with you and I learned this <laughs> the hard way is you wanna make sure because you would think, okay, I'm gonna put this higher up. And so what I did was I grabbed the pole not realizing the steam was right there and luckily I moved my hand quickly but I felt that heat hit my hand. So be very careful uh, when you're setting this up. You wanna make sure to put this down low so when you're grabbing it you don't have to worry because you because you can by the way it does have three wheels and it does move around quickly and easily uh, so you can see you've got the, uh, the three wheels very lightweight now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then we'll go ahead and turn it on so you can see how quickly it turns on now that it's plugged in it does light up now I'm gonna go ahead and start it at level one and then just to show you how quickly before it does get going, to give you an idea, it also is lit up uh, on the handle as well. All right, so let's give it here a minute. And they say it takes about 30 seconds. So this will give you an idea in real time as we are getting this going. And then I'm going to share with you the last part of the video is show you with steaming different apparel. Okay, so here you go, it's coming out. By the way, if you find this video of help and it adds value, I greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and find it add value, then click that subscribe button and of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos like this one. All right, so you can see the steam is coming out right away. So this is level one. And again, you can adjust. Now we're gonna do level two. This is level two. And now level three. So it starts building up. So now it's level three and the steam is coming out pretty good there. Uh, it's not the most powerful force of steam, but it's consistent, which is good. I don't find it sprays, um, but it, it generally has worked well when I've used it. and. Even when this is on, by the way, you can rotate the head, so you don't have to worry about burning yourself. Again, you just press that button, and then you lock, uh, and then lock in, in place. And again, when you have it on and you uh, unlock the trigger, you can easily put that right there uh, on the plate uh, for where it sits. And then when you're ready to go again, you can pick it up and start start ironing. So the last feature is the self-cleaning. And so what you would do is turn the knob to the self-cleaning and you wanna make sure to uh, have this over a pail or what I did and you could see here is I have it over the sink and you could see it spraying out and cleaning the hose and descaling it. So that is the last of the features uh, with the different options. Again, you have level one, level two, level three, steam levels, and then of course the self-cleaning. What I wanna share with you now are some examples of me using it.
overall, my thoughts are it works very well. Uh, and it just takes a little time getting used to with uh, putting the shirts on and, um, and then, you know, steaming out your wrinkles and you're good to go. Uh, so I like it. Uh, definitely uh, would recommend it. Uh, it's under $100, and it definitely, uh, for me, which I use a handheld steamer, this is nice, again, because you have the all-in-one. Really appreciate your support, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.